it's Abby, and today I have a package from my friend Polly Momo T, or Polly Momo if you're here for the toys, because that is his toy channel. And you all need to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description down below. But today we're going to be opening all of these goodies that he sent me. Some of them are open figures that he is passing on to me. I'm really excited because I've never opened any of the Zoton Treasure Island. We have some Disney Lego minifigures from the Disney 100 series. If you've been around my channels any amount of years, you will know I'm obsessed with all things Disney. He also sent me a few other goodies and I'll show you guys. You can say I'm old, but I'm very excited for these potato starch noodles. They're Korean chapje noodles. I actually don't know if they're used for anything else, but I can't find these here in Japan. We only have harusame, which are similar, but it's a different kind of starch. And the potato starch ones just have the perfect chewiness and these are a lot thicker too. So Alex kindly sent me three packs of them. I'm very excited. Let me know if you'd like to see a vlog of me attempting to make chapje. Which reminds me, would all of you go subscribe to my old main channel, Lorianne's Lunchbox? Because there's some big things happening and I don't want you guys to miss out. Some more goodies. These are pens. I believe Alex did a Temu pens video and he shared them with me. Oh, I think he sent me the purple pens. He knows me very well. Oh, is this like a chili pepper? A little cloud pen. If you want to see how these pens write, go check out Alex's video. Oh, a little panda with white ears. There's some cute ones in here. You can see the rest. Just some fun pens that I'll be using for journaling. And I think this is a, a nudge to me to start crafting again, which is another channel you guys should subscribe to if you like anything like crafty or DIY. My goal this year is to get all three of my channels running again, so wish me luck and please support me. I have some bezels. Lots of bezels. Ooh, there's some cute ones in here. We're gonna have to have a crafting session. A Tokidoki sticker. I forget his name. The tiger. Anyway, let's look at the blind boxes. This was a pre-owned Yoki. There's a little smudge on his ears here, but I think I can remove that with like maybe a magic eraser. It's ice skating Yoki. I'm gonna assume from the Christmas set. He is adorable. Look at the snowflakes on the back of his ears. The gradient paint job, very pretty. Yoki is one of my favorite Pop Mart IPs. He's so cute. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember what's in here. Alex is always looking for good thrifted finds. He usually messages me and asks like, would you like this one? I found it super cheap or I opened this, I don't want it, would you like it? And most of the time I say yes because who says no to a cute figure? But um, I, I don't remember what's in this one. And I've never opened a Yoki gemstone prints before. I do own a few of them because I've thrifted some of my own but I've never seen the box before. It's very cute. Let's open it up. Ooh. Ooh. Ter terma tourmaline. 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 Look at Yogi's holding it with his feet. Very pretty. Pink and green. Little crown. Another cute Yogi for the collection. Here's the card. Look at Yogi's eyes. They're so cute. So I thought Yoki was a bat for the longest time, but I think Yoki's an alien. I know these unicornos are unopened. It's the new Unicorno Delicious series, series two, I believe. And Alex found them and asked me if I'd like to open some. How cute are they? I'm not as unicorno obsessed as I used to be, but I have a decent collection of them. And when they come out with something new, I gotta check it out. As always, the packaging is on point. I think I'm just drawn to anything food and miniature. I want honestly any of them. The crepe, the sushi, I love dumplings, ramen, tacos, pasta, and Green Goddess is the chaser. For once, the chaser isn't my favorite. Does that give me better luck? Let's open this up. I think we just ripped the box. No spoilers on this one. Oh, I think it's a taco. Oh, it's cute. This one is named Taco Bellissima. 
Does that mean beautiful? Look at the chili pepper on her head. I'm gonna journal with this paper. Taco Bellissima. This is not a toy, this is collectible art. I want the crepe. The crepe or the ramen? Those are my first picks, and then sushi, and then pasta and little dumpling. Cross your fingers for me. Send a ramen emote in chat. Is there a crepe emote? Oh, I can feel the shape. I think we're getting lucky. It's ramen. Oh my goodness. I love her. This is ramen -y. Look at this ramen, it looks so good. You can see the noodles, very textured, green onions, some chashu, some Naruto fish cakes, boiled egg, and seaweed. And rameni's mane looks like noodles. Cheeks are the little Naruto swirls. And look at the bowl. There's some unicornos on there. Very cute. I know that Tokidoki is pretty popular in the States. I don't really see it too much here in Japan. You'd think it'd be more popular, but they're always so expensive because they're imported toys. Let me know if you've seen these in your country and if you've opened any. If you have any different ones, send me pictures. Leave a vote in the comments down below, tacos or ramen. Let's go for the dreamy stage Zoton. I think I remember which one this is, but I'm not 100% sure. Nope. Oh. That's been taped shut. There we go. Let's pull the bag out first. The Zotone packaging is always so cute. Ja -ja! It's the one I've been wanting. Nightmare Witch to go with my Dreamy Angel. The colors are so me. Look at that purple rose. And the wings are flocked. She's so cute. I love Zotone. I feel like Melinta is more popular than Zoton, but there's just something about Zoton. And here's the card. Nightmare Witch. Thank you, Alex. Before we dive into the Disney stuff, let's check out the remaining Zotons. I will admit I was very tempted to buy a full set of these when they came out, but I ended up passing on them and then I didn't even really get any random ones. So let's take a peek. Again, I'm supposed to know which ones are in here, but I don't remember, so this is basically a blind opening for me. There are so many cuties. I'm pretty sure Alex liked that one, so unless it's a double, I don't think it's that. I guess we'll find out. Ooh, look at that gradient. Look it, look it. If it's upside down, it's like my VTuber. I know which one this is. It's the bumper car! And it's a little panda. What a cutie! Look at her panda ears. I love it! Here's the card called Panda Bumper. Every time I see sets in person, I'm like, I need more! I literally remember nothing, but for some reason I feel like it might be Animal Friends? But I'm not sure. Well, we're just gonna pretend it's our first time opening it. Oh my goodness. The purple and the teal and the pink. It's like this figure was made for me. Oh, she's adorable with her little braids. Why didn't you want these, Alex? They're so cute. Were they doubles? Look at the tiny heart. Merry-go-round. You know what? I'm kind of loving this unboxing. I feel like it's been curated for me. I guess it kind of has. The doorbells, I think, are a set. Like, I don't think they're blind bags, but I think there's a chance of getting a blind one. Disney Doorables have made it to Japan, but we definitely do not have the Walt Disney World 50th set. I actually asked Alex to help me buy this one because, look at they're all themed after Disney World Magic Kingdom rides. Jungle Cruise, Mad Tea Party, It's a Small World, and Space Mountain. And look at Donald's purple! 
It says, will you find a bonus figure? So I think we get these 12. Part of me just wants to keep it like this, like a actual collectible, but I think we open it. Oh, oh, this is fun. Maybe if I don't rip it. Here we go. There's the bonus figure. It's like an advent calendar. They don't rip very, oh here, I guess it rips like this. Should we open one at a time? I bet they make Dorval's advent calendars, huh? Here we go. Oh, how lucky is that? Or was, is that Donald always there? It's Space Mountain Donald. Look at his face, it's all purple. I think door are a lot of fun to open. Let's grab another one. This one maybe? I think it's really cool that they did a Disney World set. Oh, another Space Mountain one. Goofy. Look how glittery his eyes are. Let's go here next. Okay, I'm just destroying the packaging at this point. And we have, oh, Mickey! Oh, this Mickey's cute. Look at that gradient on his ears. I'm gonna guess all the Space Mountain ones are at the top. Maybe this one or this one. Oh, there's two in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Does that mean we have an extra one? Or did it just get moved? Because I know that happens sometimes. Oh. Daisy Duck. It's a small world daisy. <gasps> we got the bonus one! You guys that know Dorables are gonna have to tell me. Is this rare? Or do they just call it a bonus? And is it in all the sets? I don't know anything about Dorables rarity. Did I just get really, really lucky? I feel like I got lucky. That's the bonus one. Next one. Ooh. Small World Mini. Oh, I love this design. Look at the girlies. Let's open this one next. These are fun to open. Ooh, Small World Mickey. I think the Small World ones are my favorite so far, but we haven't seen the tea Mad Tea Party ones yet. Another door. So it's Mad Tea Party and Jungle Cruise. Who are you? Oh, Mad Tea Party Daisy. I love the design. It's the design that's on the teacups. Pink and yellow is perfect. You guys may not be able to see, but we have these remaining ones to open. There we go. Chop, chop. Oh, okay. This one might be my new favorite. Let me compare. What do we think? Small World Mini or Mad Tea Party Mini? Leave a comment and we'll see who wins. This should be one more Mad Tea Party one, I think. This is fun getting to open so many blind bags in one go. Mad Tea Party Mickey. Oh, he's cute. Look at the little swirlies on his ear. Do they make larger Dorables figures? Kind of like Funko Pops, I guess? Or are they always this size? Dorables fans, I need you to educate me. Three more to go. This should be the Jungle Cruise set. My boy. Oh, he's cute. Best boy Donald. Look at his eyes are mega glittery in this one. Two more to go. Oh, I didn't open that one right again. You know what? I might just pull them both out. I still can't believe we got the bonus one. Who is this gonna be? Oh wait, so there are four Mickeys. I mean, he is a superstar. There's Jungle Cruise Mickey. And I think this is Goofy. Yep. Whoop. 
Jungle Cruise Goofy. Cute. Oh, look at his teeth. He's so cute. I love how glittery his eyes are. They're crazy. You guys know I like displaying my pop beans and my uli uli in jars. So I have an extra one. Actually, here's one that I haven't shown you guys yet. Sneak peek. But I wonder if the doorables. I think they need to be lined up a little bit nicely. We'll do Jungle Cruise, Small World. I would like them all to face outside. Space Mountain. Mad Tea Party. Oh, there's still quite a bit of extra room. I might have to find some other doorables to go in here. But I think this is a fun way to display them if you don't have the shelf space. It is a little crammed. I think if we get them all to stand up a little bit, we can make more use of the space. I'm really liking this way of displaying things, especially the smaller figures. Yeah, we can turn a few of them around. You could even throw some beads in there too, if you wanted to go with like a nice gradient. Last but not least. And look at, it's a whole box. So there's six of them. Are you all ready? I haven't seen anyone opening these yet, so this is my first look at the Disney 100 Lego minifigures. Oh, can we tell who that is? I feel like I'm getting Tiana vibes. Don't you think? There's the poster. Let me put her together. Here's Tiana. Here's her sign. And... Prince Naveen, who they have standing on her hand. I'm gonna put him down here. I think maybe if we scooted Tiana over, he'd fit better. I think they may have given me an extra crown. I do like these because they're so easy to build. I hope there's a Donald Duck in here. Let's see if we can guess who this is. Oh, I think it's from Coco. Is it Senor de la Cruz? There's a guitar. There's a big hat. I think it is. Look at this. He has his, I guess, mean face maybe? And he has a kind of nice face, I think. Let's give him some hair. Let's put him on a stand. Ta -da! Number two. I wonder if you get a full box if you're guaranteed no doubles. And by full box, I guess I mean six. Oh. oh. Do you see what I see? It's Oswald. Oh my goodness, I love Oswald so much. Look at him. Oh my goodness, I'm almost more excited than if I would have gotten a Donald. That is the halfway mark. We have three more to open. Oh, I think that's Miguel. I see a guitar. It comes with Dante. Miguel comes with two faces too. Look at that. He has his normal human face too. Here is Day of the Dead Miguel with his guitar. And look at you can have a hood or hair. And there's Dante. Look at his little tongue. He's adorable. I love Dante. Wait, there's three more bags. Were there seven bags in here? I thought it was six. Can I not count? Or did Alex put an extra one in? Interesting. No complaints here. Oh, fabric. Oh, from Robin Hood. Ah, uh, what's his name? King John? Here he is holding his gold and a bag of gold, I guess. It's so well made. Look at his crown and the mold for the head. Very nice. This is so cool. Two more to go. My first guess is Mulan? From what I can see. 
Oh yeah, I think it is. Happy face. Angie face. Hair. And then we have a lot of accessories. Let's give her her swords, I guess. This is so cool. So there's Mulan. And there's Quickie. Her little cricket friend. I love how the pieces go together to make a little... Also, spoilers. Last one. I hope I get Stitch. Or Baymax. Or Robin Hood. Robin Hood looks cool. Are we ready? Oh! Getting lucky today. It's Robin Hood. Here he is. Looking good. The mold! It's so good! I love. And look, they gave me a bunch of extra pieces. Extra tail, two extra feathers, and there was extras in the Mulan one, and the Tiana one. I guess because they're small parts, maybe? Ignore the crooked background, and now that I've said that, that's all you're gonna see. But anyway, I had so much fun opening these! Thank you, Polly Momo! You guys go check out his channel, he's been opening up a bunch of blind boxes, some full sets, and some toys that I've never even seen before, so I think you guys will enjoy. Go subscribe, tell him that Abby sent you, and leave me a comment and let me know if I should try to collect more of these Disney 100 minifigures. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye!